Hey guys, it's Candice, and in today's QuickBooks Tips and Tricks, I wanted to share with you, I got received an email, and sometimes I have to create these, I have to I get an email from you guys with a question, and then I have to do the research to figure it out, because it's something I've personally never had to do before. So today's question, what happens if you create an invoice, and your customer pays it, and then they send you a duplicate payment, and you don't realize it, you put it in the bank, and they want their money back. What do you do for that? All right, now there was a little extra complication. The customer also had an additional invoice that they had created since, and they wanted to apply the additional invoice and then get the difference, then get the refund for the difference. So in my example, what I did is I created a $1,000 invoice, I created an, a payment for the 1000 and then I created an additional payment for the 1000 okay? So that's the duplicate payment. And it's just sitting there. And so what happens when you make this duplicate payment is QuickBooks is going to say, hey, this person doesn't know. What do you want to do? And at the bottom, you're going to leave it. If you don't realize it right away and choose refund, you're probably going to have leave the credit to be used later. What do you do next? The next step, you always do it in order of what happened is we're going to, I'm going to create an invoice for the customer for an additional, let's just do $85. We're going to make it non-taxable. Okay, so the additional $85. Now, the question comes up, okay, well, QuickBooks says, hey, you have a credit. Do you want to apply it? Let's just say in this example, first I'm going to hit yes. What will happen if you hit yes? You would apply it. It would have the credit for the difference. Now, what happens if you hit no? You didn't want to apply it. it you would have an invoice sitting here and a credit for the full amount of each. What you would do is you would open up your payment. So you double click on the payment. You're going to see the invoice down below. You're going to check mark it. We're going to leave this here for now. Let's say that you still don't realize you need to refund your customer yet. I mean, there's a process. So there's a lot of variables. You may have a slightly different situation. You might be right here. You're going to refund a customer. But let's say you still chose to leave the credit. We're going to click save and close. Because I want to give you all the variables, right? Because what, no matter what I create in a video, somebody has another variable. So I'm trying to cover all variables. Now let's say that Time's gone on and you're ready to refund your payment. So we're going to go back into the payment even now. We're not going to create a credit memo. We're not going to do anything. We're just going to double click on the payment. And down here, it still says refund your customer. So down the road even, you can go back and click refund customer. So if you wrote your customer a check already, you're going to have to avoid that check. You're going to have to reissue it. If you've already done your reconciliation, you'll be okay. Um, refund the customer in the way I'm showing you. And then when you get to your bank statement, don't stress that your beginning balance is off. If you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry. That's for the extra people who had this situation. And then when you get into the reconciliation, just check mark it. And in the end, you should balance. Okay. That's just for those people. But if you don't know what I'm talking about, don't stress. So what you're going to do is click on refund the amount to the customer. And you can click view customer information if you need to, and then click save and close. So you're going to go in, double click, and now we're going to refund the customer. Save and close. Yes. Now the check pops up of where you can actually refund it. So while you're in here, you start at the beginning. This is who they're going to refund. This is a customer. This is the amount that they're going to get refunded via whether it's a check or a credit card, however you're refunding it, the account that it's coming out of the date that you're doing it on. And then down here, it's the address. And if you are printing it, you can leave it to be printed. If you're not, you're gonna uncheck that. And where it says to print, you're gonna change that to say the check number you already gave the customer, all right? And if it's electronic, whatever, you're gonna put that in here, choose it correctly, and then click okay. So what happened? One, we had our first invoice, we applied our first payment. Then we got a second payment. Then we applied the new invoice. Then we gave the customer a refund. And now the customer's account is balanced out. And what happened in the bank account, let me show you that. Here's the check. But you want to make sure, even though it says accounts receivable here, you don't want to go directly in your check and do accounts receivable. Do it through the steps I showed you because then you make sure everything cleared. Because sometimes if you start doing journal entries or other ways, stuff does not balance. So I hope this helps you guys. There's probably lots of variables, lots of questions. You can comment down below. Sometimes I have to see your QuickBooks to be able to help you guys. I know sometimes you guys ask me questions and I try to answer them, but I'm a have to see it sometimes kind of person. So if I ever say to you, sorry, you need to have a you know one-on-one -on -one consultation, 
don't take it personally. I just can't answer your questions. So if you need help, feel free to go up above or down below and check out working with me privately. If you just want to understand QuickBooks better, feel free to check out confidencewithquickbooks.com, which is my online course where I walk you through. It also has questions inside there and I'll create customized videos for you if you need them. Have an amazing day. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to not miss any of my tips and tricks, don't forget to go up and join my tips and trips, tips and tricks. Have an amazing day. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.